This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring defense attorney, Hidden Killers daily contributor, and host of the Defense Diaries podcast, Bob Motta. Chad Daybell trial well underway. It's been a fascinating one at times, and also at times, it's like, what is going on here? Joining me to discuss, Bob Mata, host of the podcast, Defense Diaries, defense attorney. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, we, just before recording this, we're watching uh, some of uh, John Pryor's cross, and it's getting painful uh, at times. Uh, I'm curious, uh, being a defense attorney, what are your thoughts as far on uh, Chad Daybell's sole representation with John Pryor? It runs hot and cold. You yeah. know, obviously, as a defense attorney, I uh, I tend to look at defense attorney. Like, it's, it's funny because we're live streaming the trial. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm reading the chat and everybody's like, I can't, we hate John Pryor. John Pryor is so annoying. His voice gets on my nerves. I believe I called him adult in your chat. (laughs) Right. You know, so (laughs) like, and I can't help but look at it from a technical side, Mm -hmm. you know, just in terms of is, is he controlling the witness on cross? Is he getting points made? And he is, and, and he does. But the problem is, I think that. He, he is not resonating with the jury, mm-hmm. you know, which ultimately is all that matters. Yeah. You know, because if, if points being made are being lost to the fact that the jury cannot stand you for whatever reason, uh, and, and in Pryor's uh, case, it's several reasons, like people just find him to be condescending. Mm-hmm. So while I think technically he's doing well, um, you know, from people that I have that have sat in on the trial that, that text me and, and, you know, they're like, the jury ain't feeling him, mm-hmm. you know? So ultimately if he's making points, but those are being lost on the jury because they, they just can't stand him, then where are you at as defense counsel? You, you know, and, and additionally, the guy's trying the case alone, yeah. which is just very, very tough to do. It's just like, it is a matter of, of you know, the technical side of trying a case and getting your exhibits ready and paying attention to what's going on and direct and making objections and, you know, preparing all your crosses. It's just, it's a ton to do for one lawyer. So, you know, from, from those perspectives, um, you know, obviously I I feel some sympathy for him. um, And I think that he's doing the best that he can, you know, that being said, you know, I know the whole story, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not a juror that is not aware potentially of the entire sordid tale of Chad and Lori <laughs> and everything that goes along with it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm obviously rooting that he gets convicted because, you know, no part of me does, you know, believes that he didn't know what was going on. Sure. You know, so, sure. So I'm kind of torn with that one, you know, and I want to talk, uh, uh, let's keep talking about John a little bit. I, I'm, I'm curious, why is he not resonating with the jury? I mean, I know he is coming across as kind of condescending. He almost reminds me of my dad when I was a kid trying to like, you know, usher you in this way to make you look at something like that. But it just kind of comes across as really just bleh. like, I, yeah. I, like, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Like we already get it. Um, repeating himself over and over and over and over. Uh, it seems a bit redundant at times. Um, I, I don't know. Is, is he nervous up there or, or what's going on? Because it's it's just, it's getting bizarre. I think he's old. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think he's like, I think he's old. And I think that he's probably been doing this for a long time. And I think that, you know, because in, in terms of a cross-examination, you are, you know, you're required to control the witness. So yeah. like when you ask a question, it's it's not supposed to be an open-ended question on cross-examination. It's supposed to be theoretically where I want you to only be able to give me a yes or no answer. I do not want to leave you wiggle room to talk. And, you know, so when he, he has a tendency to say, okay, okay. <laughs> a lot like after somebody answers, which just is is bugging the shit out of everybody that's watching, yes. him, you know, and and I think that that's just his habit, you know, and it comes off as condescending, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It just it comes off to like a layperson who like if you were having a regular conversation and you're in an argument with somebody, that's what you sound like, like when you think that you've made a point with a person that you're in an argument with, like blah, 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 Tony, okay. Okay. Or okay. You know what I mean? So it's like people are getting that vibe from him. So that's what I was saying. Like 
even if he's winning points, he's losing them back because the jury just does not like him, Mm -hmm. you know? And and that's why cross-examination is tough. Like it really is a talent and it's, it's an art and you have to be really skilled at it. He clearly knows the facts of the case forward and backward. Yeah. For a guy who ran out of whatever money Chad paid him a long time ago, to the extent that he filed a motion to try to get out of the case before the trial. So we know he's long exhausted whatever retainer that Daybell, uh, you know, had paid him. You you know he still did the work because he knows the facts of the case. Mm-hmm. You know, he knows every facet of every witness. You know, I mean, he may not be able to pronounce names, but factually he knows everything that's going on in the case. So, you know, I, I think that ultimately it's just, you know, he he's doing the best that he can. And, and, you know, with respect to his kind of his approach and his bedside manner for, you know, lack of a better term in terms of his cross-examination persona, it's leaving the jury with a bad taste in their mouth is, is what the kind of the overall... Uh, theme seems to be at least in our chats sick of the ads we opt to start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else become a true crime today premium plus subscriber on apple podcasts search true crime today premium plus on apple podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now true crime today premium plus sign up now